Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna do a 400 mile, well, 401 mile review on the Rad Mini 4. And let me start off by telling you, this bike is a workhorse. Don't get me wrong. You know, there may be some uh, cons that this bike has against electric, but first off, let's get right to the basics. This starting out is a $1,500 bike. I bought the bike when they had a $200 uh, deal off of the bikes so i picked it up then for my son to ride well you can expect with the rad mini 4 it comes stock with cst big boat tires 20 by 3 inch both front and back 14 amp hour 48 volt battery 750 watt motor seven speed drivetrain you have 180 millimeter rotors for your mechanical disc brakes and of course you have your controller right down here and i am pretty sure unless i stand corrected this is about a 16 amp controller the nice thing is this is a plug and go controller right out on the bike ever have to replace it or if you want to upgrade it as long as you have a matching uh, unit Literally unplug the old one, unmount it from your bike, plug it back together, boom, you're done. I know they make upgrade kits to 35 amp controllers for this, but personally, I have no reason for it. My son has never had any problem with the bike as far as power goes. The only thing I will note on the bike, it does not have that pick up and get up and go that I get from my electric XP 2.0. But you know what, that might be a good thing because the amp rating on this controller is not going to allow stuff to overflow, overheat your motor, or overheat the controller generally. I mean, this bike has 400 miles, not one problem yet. Now, as far as issues that we have had with the bike, most of the issues have been related to normal wear and tear. Cable stretching, doing some brake adjustments, doing some adjustments on the back derailleur with the barrel adjuster. But the biggest con, I would say, is the weird, unusual spoke creaking on the back wheel. I've never had any problems with the front wheel with any spoke-related issues, but the back wheel, it's touch and go. And it does not matter what I do to the back wheel, I slightly tighten the uh, spokes, and I just did this the other day, actually. Went out for a ride, no spoke creaking. Went out for a ride again today on it. Heard a little bit of creaking right at the beginning of the ride, and then it stopped. I've taken lubricant, like your uh, lithium uh, grease spray, with a cotton swab and worked it in between these joints here on your spoke, right in here. That does seem to help, but ultimately it's not gonna stop it. And it does promote dust buildup, which could also be bad. So you wanna keep that in mind. Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm really happy with the bike. And as far as, okay, well, you may not have this high power output. Let me tell you what though, this bike in power assist to May not have the get up and go as fast as electric does, but if you're on flat ground and the bike really realizes that, it'll kick you right up to 13, 14 miles per hour in power assist too, no problem, on flat ground. If you are coming up to a hill, and like with myself, I'm about 205 pounds, you know, all I do is I put the bike in power assist three, or I use a little bit of throttle juice on the bike, as you can see right there, you turn it on. Something else to note too on the uh, Rad Mini 4 is you don't have all the advanced settings that you can do on your uh, monitor up here on your display. Now, like I said, they do uh, sell upgrade kits for these bikes where they do give you a new controller and a monitor, a display, where you can actually go in and program all the things like you can on the Electrix display. But 
you've got to be kind of careful with that. Other than that, yeah, hey, I, I give a complete thumbs up for the Rad Mini 4. Like I said, it's a workhorse. It is totally stock, except for the uh, things that we've added to it. You know, the, uh, the mount up here for the action camera, the water bottle holder, new pedals, the fishing pole holder, and of course, the rear rack. We have the, uh, you know, changed out from the stock seat, obviously. And of course, I have a, a Zoom seat post down here, suspension seat post. That thing's working wonderfully. Oh my gosh, I can't even explain. And inside of the tires or the tubes, we do have 12 ounces of flat out tire sealant in both the front and back wheel. Other than that, no issues with the bike. 400 mile review. I'm very happy with the purchase on this. And as a follow up thing here, uh, I will be getting my new controller warranty controller for the electric try to figure out what's going on i don't know but i will do a separate video on me uh getting inside there and uh tackling that controller i already know for a fact i'm going to run into issues with the controller because i had it open after this happened and the wire feed is not long enough for me to even access some of the connections I don't know what happened at the factory, but that is going to be a big problem. I'm gonna have to do a complete separate video on that, send electric. I may have to get a complete replacement bike because if I can't replace the controller, this bike is completely worthless to me and I'm not very happy about it. 250 miles, controller burns out. I'm sorry, not acceptable. I just, I have a problem with that. I know things happen, but I have a problem with that. Other than that, Rad Mini 4, great bike. It's a great investment. If you can afford the extra money, I would highly recommend the Rad Mini 4 for a beginning bike. But that's up to you. You know, you guys do your research. Other than that, keep safe out there. Peace, and I'll see you on the next video.